Hello again and welcome to our virtual open day for the presentation of Eco Polytechnique Bachelor of Science. I'm Mathieu, a second year bachelor student at Eco Polytechnique. We wish to remind you that we respect the necessary security measures to guarantee the health and well-being of everyone. Now on this set, I'm accompanied by Catherine Ellis, the Associate Director of the Bachelor Programme, along with Alexandra online, who is also a second year bachelor student. Welcome, Catherine. Thank you, Matthew. So as Matthew said, my name is Catherine Ellis. I'm the Associate Director for the Bachelor's Program. And today it is my great honor to tell you just a little bit more about this unique, prestigious, and very international program that is the Ecole Polytechnique Bachelor's Program. Thank you, Catherine. And welcome, uh, Alexandra. Uh, right now, I will let you, Catherine, present to us the program, and we meet again right after to answer all your questions with Alexandra. So please do not hesitate to ask anything in the chat. See you soon. Welcome to the presentation about the bachelor's program here at Eco Polytechnique. Um, to start with, I would like to give you a very broad overview of this program, very high level. It is a three-year program, and it is given, at the end, a two degree, a double degree. So in the first year, it is an absolutely a year of uh, exploration. Students will take classes across all of the different majors, and they also will begin their classes in sports, personal development, local culture, and a foreign language. It's a year of discovery and adaptation and also of integration. Students not only discover what they need to learn on an academic level, but they discover what is expected of them within university studies and from individual professors as well. They also will have to confront one of many very difficult decisions, right, Mathieu? Yeah, of course. <laughs> and that decision is specialization. Which of the double majors are they going to follow? So in the second year, students will follow either math and computer science, math and economics, or math and physics. It's a very intense year. You will go very fast and very deep into your choice of the double majors. Okay. In the third year, again, a very interesting year. It starts with a semester abroad in one of many partner universities around the world if a student chooses to do so. I don't know, is this something that you're planning to do, Matthew? Uh, I still haven't decided, but uh, definitely I intend to uh, go uh, abroad to discover other universities in other countries. Yeah, and second year students are currently learning about what, off what is on offer, and the application process will come soon. After the study abroad semester, students return and, or they stay where they're at, to do their bachelor thesis internship. So the bachelor thesis is based on a two-month internship within a research facility. And at the end, they will have, of course, the bachelor thesis, but it can also lead to publications, and in some cases, even awards, such was as the case for one of our recent students, Kayo. I don't know if you are familiar with her. Mm -hmm. But she won the Global Undergraduate Award in Computer Science for her work on um, its machine translation of sign languages into spoken languages. So being repetitive, congratulations again, Kayo. And at the end of the semester, students return to campus. They will take some more classes within their double major and finally celebrate graduation. Here, I want to show you a little bit more uh, in depth what you'll be studying during the time within the program. Uh, here you see just a few examples of the classes in each of the majors. Obviously, it is not a full list. All students, of course, will take their mathematics classes, which you'll see at the top of the screen. And then within each of the three double majors, you will have more specific. Now, as you know, a double major in three years, you can expect a very, very intense workload. Matthew is over here nodding his head, okay. laughing. It is very true. But, yeah, it's very interesting. So Yeah, yeah. And students can have anywhere from 27 hours of class time up to even over 40 hours in some cases. Those are the ambitious students who want to take the full load. Um, even with the intense workload, those students do tend to find time to have a little bit of fun and, and participate in some of the mini activities on campus. And I'll come back to that in just a little bit. So now I'd like to turn to the class profile, so the individual students. 
So first of all, as I mentioned earlier, it is a very international program. Our students come from around the world, and all classes are taught in English, except foreign languages. Uh, if students do not yet speak French, they will be required to take French classes until they reach at least a B2 level. For those who do speak French already, they will have a choice amongst other foreign languages, for example, Spanish, Italian, German. And also each year there is a range of classes on offer that depends on demand. It can change from year to year, but for example, this year students took Russian, Japanese, Chinese, uh, Hebrew as well. So coming back to the students, as you'll see on the class profile, we do have 80% of our students who hold non-French passports. So speaking of foreign languages, it is probable that you can even practice your foreign language with a native speaker. Our gender ratio also is particularly high this year and compared to the standards for the STEM system. And we do, of course, hope that this trend will continue in the future. It's also interesting to note, and this is something that's not on the slide, this is top secret information. Uh, something to note is the most recent incoming class is uh, approximately 120 students, and they come from 107 different high schools. So that means that we don't have base feeder schools within the program. We really look for our talent absolutely everywhere. Right. On the next slide, you'll see a, a variety of things, of course, Student life is very important in the university experience for all students around the world. There are plenty of events going on at Ecole Polytechnique. They range everything from sporting activities, conferences, clubs, and other events. And I think the hardest choice for the bachelor students is actually choosing, this is another one of those difficult choices. <laughs> Which one are you going to go to and do you spend your time working on the homework for your math class or do you go to that conference being given by a Nobel Prize winner? Very difficult choices indeed. <laughs> Um, we also have, of course, a, a student association that works specifically with the bachelor students, and they're called the LOR. And the LOR works also with the personal development team. I'll talk about that in just a minute. They collaborate a lot with the other student associations to put in place a lot of different events. The administrative side, you'll see we also have a very good support system. The students, if they happen to be struggling with a class or maybe they just want a little boost in one of their classes or more, there is tutoring available for them. We also have a dedicated administrative team to work with students and they're their number one contact point for anything linked to the academics. And those are the first year, second year, and third year officers. And the personal development team, they're better known to the students as the coaches. And the coaches are very close to the students because they work with the students on everything that has to do with student life. They are there to work with the law and organize different events and make sure that everything is in place for proper security measures so that students can enjoy it in all safety. There is also uh, sporting events that are done with the coaches, which is, of course, an integral part of the program. And all students do take a sports class. And they also give the PDV classes, so personal development classes. These are classes that are not required, but they are very, very highly recommended. And they work a lot on the soft skills with the students. So to give you a few examples of these classes, in the first year, a popular one is meeting with professionals. In the second year, well, actually, Matthew is getting a little mm -hmm. bit of an advanced practice on this one, the personal yeah. development class. Do you know which one it yeah, is? And it is the speech contest, and I definitely intend to participate. <laughs> it looks very, very fun. Yeah, and it, it does, the, the end of the course is a public speech contest that all of the, the community within Ecole Polytechnique can attend and, and see how good of an, how eloquent of speakers our students are. And in the third year, there is also a very popular class called Active Volunteering with a special project at the end, which is creating a play in collaboration with residents at a local institution for handicapped people. I'm not sure if you're familiar with this one, Matthew. Yeah, yeah. Did you see the play last year? Yeah, of course. Yeah. So it was it was, really good. It was excellent. It was excellent. All right. And, of course, students who want to go further do their own thing. 
Of course, innovation is a key concept here at Ecole Polytechnique, and as such, our bachelor students, like all the students on the campus, have access to a lot of different centers, I'm sorry, including the Innovation Center. Uh, you can also visit labs on campus, and we do encourage the students to do so. We even organize visits during the first, uh, first few weeks on campus for the students. There's also the Fab Lab, which gives you access to 3D, printer, 3D, pardon, 3D printers. And there's even a short course to help you learn how to use them for students who are interested. So many interesting projects are being born in these centers. All right. Next slide. The biggest question, housing. And actually, if you look really closely, you might spot Matthew in one of these pictures here. Housing. <laughs> I had my hair shaved at the time. <laughs> yeah, and you're wearing cool sunglasses, too. <laughs> Housing, of course, being a little bit redundant with the campus tour if you watched that session, it is in a brand new building that opened in January of 2020, and all bachelor students are guaranteed a room within this building if they so desire. It is organized with four to five rooms that share a common kitchen. Each room has a private toilet and a private shower. The kitchens are pretty actually spacious on Parisian standards, and they have large windows, lots of light. It's a, a very comfortable space for students to get together, communicate, enjoy time together, potentially even work <laughs> together. Um, for those who don't want to disturb the others or be disturbed by others when they're working, there's also workspaces on every floor for the, the students to meet in. There's also a gathering space on the ground floor called the foyer, and it has its own private kitchen as well, so students can hold, ev hold events there and relax during the day if they so desire. There's also soundproof music rooms. I don't believe you play any instruments, do you, Matthew? No, sadly I don't. But yeah. the music committee is very, very nice. They do some pretty cool events. Yeah, and so students can practice and prepare for open mic nights in the music rooms. All right, many of you have asked, what comes after Ecole Polytechnique? So we finally are able to answer you. Our very first graduating class has gone out and moved on to their graduate programs. And of course, it's been no surprise to those of us who know them that they have had excellent results. But it is affirmation, and it, and it shows the high quality not only of the program, but of the students who are in this program. Um, to give you a really good idea of the, the programs they're going into, I'll give you a couple of examples from each of the double majors. Of course, across all double majors, since everybody studies mathematics, students have seen offers for pure and applied mathematics in institutions like Cambridge, ETH, Zurich. Uh, several have also had offers for international management programs at schools like uh, SAD, Bocconi, and HEC Paris. Within computer science, so the computer science side of things, we have a student who has accepted a master's in language technologies at Carnegie Mellon. Perhaps you can guess who that might be. And we also have students who are going on to PhD tracks in computer science here at the Institut Polytechnique de Paris. In economics, students have had offers for economics and management at the London School of Economics, um, also a Master of Science in Financial Engineering at UC Berkeley. And finally, last but not least, math and physics. Those students have had many offers to go on to do master's or a PhD track at very well-known universities like Princeton, Cambridge, Caltech, MIT, the list goes on. Now, there's all of these wonderful, wonderful results. But I think the most important thing for students to know, for Matthew, for Alexander, and everybody out there is don't just follow in the footsteps of your predecessors, OK? They've done great things, but it doesn't mean it's exactly right for you. We encourage our students to really look for the programs that will best fit their goals and their aspirations, and we will do our best to support you in that process. All right. I know you're all saying, I love this program. How do I get in? Tell me how to get in. So I will. First step, of course, is applying. The application process is very much so like other international applications processes. You'll need to complete an online form, provide your transcripts, two letters of recommendation, a personal statement, actually several personal statements. These do change every year. And here's a little inside tip on those. What we really want to see in those personal statements 
is you. We want to know what inspires you, what motivates you. So when you're looking at it and you're, you're deciding on the topic that you want to write about, pick something important to you, communicate on that, and it will just come out naturally. All right. So going back to the list of requirements, we also, of course, need a resume or a CV, some people call it. And this is about your extracurricular activities and, of course, an application fee. Now, based on this file, some students will be pre-selected and invited to an oral interview. The oral interview is approximately 50 minutes, and it is in two parts. There is a mathematics part, where you actually will be doing mathematical problems with the person who is doing the interview, and a second part that is more of a conversation. It's a discussion about you, uh, what are your motivations for joining the program, what do you enjoy, uh, and also a little bit about your general scientific knowledge. So after all the oral interviews have taken place, there is then a commission, commission for admissions, and a decision is made on who will be admitted into the program, and students are informed shortly after that. With the applications, so we do have three different rounds for applications when you apply directly to Ecole Polytechnique on our website. You can see the dates on this slide. You can also, of course, find them on the website. And admissions offers are sent in February, April, and June, respectively. Students who are in the French system might prefer to apply through the Parcoursup platform, which is absolutely fine. Be aware that the requirements are exactly the same, regardless of which platform you apply through. However, you cannot apply through both methods. You must just pick one of the two. Uh, applications directly to Ecole Polytechnique, uh, we are actually able to manage the timeline. So you'll usually have a few weeks to prepare for your oral interview if you're invited to do so. However, with Paco Soup, there's a very short timeline between when you submit your application and we have to give you an answer. So as such, you will probably only have a few days to prepare for your oral interview. And the results for admissions are communicated on Paco Soup in mid-May. So once again, choose the method that you prefer and apply just through that one. All right, how much does it cost? It depends on your nationality, the passports that you hold. If you are a member of the European Union, the tuition next year is 12,500 euros per year. And if you're not a member of the European Union, then it is 15,600 euros per year. Now, this is obviously a big investment in the future, and we know that not all students have the same financial means. So we do have a financial aid system in, pro in place. On this chart, you will see that the top row are for students who are admitted with honors. Now, this is a decision that is made at the moment of admission, and you will be informed if this is the case for you. If so, then you will be invited to, should you so desire, apply for a merit-based scholarship or and a need-based scholarship. So the merit-based scholarship is called the Excellence Scholarship, and to apply for it, you will read, need to write a short essay. The need-based scholarship is actually not a scholarship. It's the tuition fee waivers. Okay? Those go up to a maximum amount that depends on if you're an EU citizen or not EU citizen, so directly linked to the tuition you pay. If you're not admitted with honors, don't despair. We do have additional financial aid open to all students who are admitted into the program. Uh, if you are a female student, so among the 43% in our most recent class, you can also apply for the Women in Science Scholarship, which goes up to 4,000 euros, but is only for the very first year. And all students may also apply for an interest-free loan. Now, it's a bit of a misnomer. Be careful. It's not actually interest-free. It's just that the Ecole Polytechnique Foundation pays the interest for you for 10 years. And the reason it's for 10 years is we assume most students after the bachelor's program will probably continue on to a master's degree. And after that, it may take a year or two to get into a, a paid position and begin repaying your loan. And hopefully by the end of the 10th year, your loan will be paid off. All right, looking at this last slide and, and before I say goodbye, I, it's, it's actually bringing back a, quite a few memories and a couple of anecdotes. Um, 
Matthew also knows these students. There are a lot of classmates of his that are walking here. And, uh, yeah, these are students from my promotion. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And the one who is on the far left in a yellow shirt, he uh, actually was a student that recently competed in a programming competition. Yeah. I'm, I'm not sure if you're aware of this one, yeah, this story or not. He, he, it was really impressive to, to watch this, really. Yeah. So a little bit of history on this, this competition, it is an international competition and each year the universities that participate first have an internal competition to, to put together three different teams, so a total of nine students. And last year, okay, at Eco Polytechnique there's approximately 3,600 students on campus and at the time about 250 bachelor students. So, the mathematicians out there, you can work out the statistics. What was the probability of more than one bachelor's student being selected? About there. And, <laughs> but this year, we actually had three students from the bachelor's program that were selected for it. Now, one of them happened to be on his semester abroad at a different institution, and so he decided that he would compete with the host university, which would help to, to prepare for the competition. And so we had two bachelor students within the, the teams that competed, competed. And great honor for the first time in the school's history, one of the teams came in first place for the regional competition. And since I'm telling this story, I think you probably know what that team was composed of. But again, I'll tell you the, to state the obvious. It was one of the engineering students and our two bachelor's students. So we are extremely proud of our bachelor's students and of the team as a whole. And we really, really look forward to cheering them on next year at the World Finals. So that's just one example of many opportunities available to the students here at Ecopuri Technique. And with that, I would like to say thank you very much for watching. And please do join us shortly for any questions you may have. Bonjour, bonjour et bienvenue pour une live Q&A session sur Eco Polytechnique Bachelor of Science. Je suis Mathieu, un bachelor student, et sur ce set, je suis accompagné de uh, Catherine Ellis, the associate director of the bachelor program, along with Alexandra on Zoom, uh, who is also a second year bachelor student. Now, uh, Catherine Ellis, you have just presented us the bachelor program. To sum up, why would one consider joining uh, this program? Thank you for the question, Matthew. It's an interesting one, and it's actually one I ask the incoming students every year. I, I go up to them and I say, why did you come here instead of going somewhere else? And the answers that tend to come back the most frequently are, I didn't want to commit myself to one major. They really love the fact that they combine two different scientific fields and one single program. And another thing that often comes up is the international as aspect. So if students are ambitious, love the sciences, and want to be in a classroom with other students like them and from around the world, then the program is probably right for you. Thank you, Catherine. Now, Alexandra, you are a second year bachelor student in the math physics double major with a minor in chemistry. Could you tell us how you enrolled in the program and what your academic background is? Yeah, so hi everyone. So I'm Alexandra. Um, I actually used to live in Russia until I turned 16. Um, and uh, I went to the French Lycée of Moscow and I got the opportunity to see a conference by um, the directors of the bachelor program who were just presenting their programs. And it was already very interesting for me at this time. Uh, then I decided to leave to Paris, and I spent, where I spent my two last years of high school in the Lycée Louis Le Grand in Paris. So that's where I got my French baccalaureate. And I hesitated between taking a classical path, which in France is uh, the classe préparatoire aux grandes écoles, or going to the bachelor program. But then I decided that uh, studying in English, having a multidisciplinary approach, and being already in a, such a great institution as Ecole Polytechnique was very uh, something that really fit my personality and also what was I uh, looking for in higher education. That, so that's why I decided to come to the Bachelor. Exchange with every student on campus. You very feel enriched by every culture that you meet. 
And I think that for us, as future decision makers, elite scientists, managers, it's very important to get to know the world better and get to know how to exchange with different cultures. Uh, and also, you get to try delicious foods. <laughs> very nice tip from Alexandra, thank you. Uh, I remind you that you can ask all your questions in the chat, so please do not hesitate to ask anything. Uh, first question from our viewers. Um, is there an, an, a particular age to join the bachelor program? Uh, no, we do not have any kind of criteria linked to the ages. Uh, we just ask that the students have completed the equivalent to a high school uh, diploma, whether it's an IB diploma, French baccalaureate diploma, or any other national diploma. We have had students that were 16 years old that entered the program, and we've also had students that were 21 or 22. It rarely goes higher than that, but uh, we are definitely open to all profiles. Thank you. And what are the main subjects to focus on in high school to increase your chances to get into the program? So obviously mathematics. You have to be a very solid level and a high level of mathematics and absolutely love it, okay? I think that's the key criteria. And an interest and some studies in one of the other topics that are taught in the program, so either economics, physics, or computer science is helpful, but it is not required. Thank you. And how many students are admitted each year? Could you give us the ratio? Um, so we are quite a young program and currently the numbers are growing. So for an example, with the first class that we had come into the program, we had 72 students that came into the program and today we're at approximately 120. And next year we do plan to add more students to the incoming class. So we're growing slowly but surely within the program. And uh, one of the common questions that we have that I think is really linked to this one is, what is the admit, the admit ratio? How likely am I to gonna get in? And I mean, I've been working in admissions for over a decade prior to this position, so I hear this question every single year all the time. And I kind of want to go back to the key concept of don't worry about how many other people are applying, worry about how well you fit with the program. If you are good at mathematics, and you love mathematics, and you love the sciences in general, please apply. You have very good chances of getting in. If you're quite weak, you're in the middle of the class, it might be a little bit more difficult. Thank you, Catherine. Now, is there any advice that any of you would like to give to prospective students? Maybe Alexandra? Let me start. So uh, I think that the most important part is to be yourself. Uh, as Catherine told before, the extracurricular activities are very important in the process of application. So, for example, if you have a great passion and you really want to share and focus on it, it's really important because, well, it's your, it makes your profile interesting, but also you may have the opportunity to develop it when coming to the school because on Nicole Polytechnique, you can do basically whatever you want. Um, and also... Uh, don't forget that your profile is always valuable and you always have something in your profile that can give your attention to it. So don't hesitate to, to put something that is special about you out there. Thank you. Is there something you would like to add, Catherine? I would like to add one other thing. This is, as I mentioned, a relatively young program. We're in our fourth year of the program. And as such, our students do have a kind of a pioneer spirit to them. They're the students who want to start something and help develop and make something within the program, not just for themselves, but within the community. So that's also something that I think is quite important. If that matches you, then definitely please do apply. Thank you. And now another question uh, um, about the admission procedure. Um, is there um, any difference between the first round of admission and the other rounds? Do they have more chances to be admitted or, or is it the same for all the rounds? Our admissions criteria is exactly the same for every single round. So your chances of getting in in the first round are exactly the same as in the third round. I think the main difference is uh, you can feel more secure because you'll have your answer much earlier in the year to know where you are going to go and to be able to weigh your, your opportunities. You'll know 
if you're coming here or if you're going to potentially go to another school. Obviously, the later you apply, the more difficult that will be for you. But for on our side, it remains exactly the same. Thank you. Uh, now, what level of English is required for students? Ah, yes. So as all classes are given in English, you must have an advanced level of English. So a C1, C1 on the Common European Framework is recommended. Occasionally, B2 students are also admitted uh, as they've shown they're able to deal with it. Obviously, by the time you're done, you're probably going to be a C2 level. Thank you. Now, I have another question about what students do after the bachelor's. So what opportunity do they have? I guess you've already talked about that, but can you mm -hmm. remind us? All right. So at this point in time, obviously, on a professional level, we can't tell you because the students are not there yet. They've just gone into the master's programs. They were admitted literally around the world. Um, the students decided to go primarily in North America and in Europe. And so we have, just to give a little bit more information, uh, about half the students decided to stay in France and half the students decided to go abroad. Thank you. And now, uh, can we get a dual diploma with another university in the bachelor program? Like, uh, for instance, with your university of exchange or? Currently, we do not have any dual degree partnerships set up. That's something that could be looked into the, fu into the future. Um, at the moment, our partnerships are limited to a semester abroad, and we do occasionally have some summer sessions that are with partner universities as well. Thank you, Catherine. Well, I guess it's the end of our Q&A session, so thank you, Catherine. Thank you, Alexandra, for having answered our viewers' questions and for having presented the bachelor program. Do not hesitate to check our website, polytechnique.edu, if you want any other information. And you can also contact the bachelor admission team using the email address displayed on your screen, um, bachelor-contact at polytechnique.fr. In a moment, we'll meet again uh, Emmeline and Ali for the closing of our event. So st stay tuned and see you soon.